Hello and welcome to It's Storytime Kids. Now we're going to read Fix It Duck by Jez Albra. Fix It Duck. I do love these duck books. I hope you enjoy them too. Fix It Duck. I love the pictures and I love the rhymes. There's Duck having a bath. <laughs> Fix it duck. Frog having a peek in. Wonder why. Plop goes the drip that drops in the cup. Duck looks down, then duck looks up. A leak in the roof. Oh, what bad luck. This is a job for fix it duck. He says it's easy to repair, but how's he going to reach up there? He can't climb up, it's much too steep, so he drives round to borrow a ladder from sheep. Over the puddles he hops and he skips to sheep's little house, then oops, he trips. Sheep calls duck, it's only me. And he explains how the rain had dripped in his tea. When he reaches the part about fixing the leak, they hear a rattle, creak and squeak. It's my window, says Sheep. It won't close. It's stuck. This is a job for Fix It Duck. He goes, he does what he can to close up the gap. He glues it, screws it, and gives it a tap. Smash! The problem, says Duck, is your glass is too thin. My house, wails Sheep. The rain's coming in. What we need, said Duck, with a glint in his eye, is to pull your house to somewhere dry. Never hit glass with a hammer like that. Goodness, even I know that, duck. Goat's got a shed it can shelter inside. Let's hook up your jeep and go for a ride. Drive back slowly till I say stop. Then all of a sudden, something goes pop. Driven his tyre over a tack. Or a nail. A puncture, says Duck. More bad luck. We'll have to use my pickup truck. But Sheep's little house won't join to the truck. This is a job for Fix It Duck. Look, he saws up the ladder and uses it to attach the caravan to the truck. I mean, does that seem like a good idea? I don't know if it does. We're off, says Duck, as they speed down the track. Slow down on the bends, calls Sheep from the back. Turn left, he bleats as they skid round a curve. Hold tight, comes the quack, as the truck starts to swerve. <gasps> And the house should follow behind, but instead it unhooks from the truck and rolls on straight ahead. When Duck gets to goats, he starts to explain why they'd brought Sheep's house, which was letting in rain. But where is it? asks Goat. Then, as Duck turns to see, Frog runs up shouting, It's following me! <laughs> There's Frog. Look, up on the hill, gasps Goat in dismay. It's Sheep Quacks Duck, and he's coming this way. Run, cries Frog. He's going to crash. Help, 
bleach sheep. Splash! It's broken, says Duck. What a lot of bad luck. Oh no, moan sheep. Not fix it, Duck. If only he hadn't come calling on me. If only that rain had a dripped in his tea. Not rain, says Frog, with a shy little cough. He forgot to turn his bath tap off. Oh no, all of this for nothing. Oh, <laughs> Frog's helping mop up all the water. So at the very beginning, <laughs> we saw this picture. Do you see? Frog noticed the tap was left on. Oh, Frog is the hero of this story. And look, he even offers to help clean up. What a wonderful friend. Well, that's the end of that one. Fix It Duck by Jez Alborough. Thank you for joining me, kids. Oh, these are such great stories. I hope you enjoy them too. All right, you take care now, kids. Bye.